can take a suspect back to court on criminal charges, including murder, even after the jury has rejected some of those charges. The Supreme Court made that decision today in a 6-3 to three vote. The case centered around a recent murder trial in central Arkansas. The jury had announced it would not convict the defendant of murder, but it was deadlocked on lesser charges. The judge declared a mistrial. Today, Chief Justice John Roberts wrote that prosecutors can retry the defendant for murder. He said this did not amount to double jeopardy because the case never reached an official jury verdict before the mistrial. Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote the dissent arguing this would give prosecutors, quote, a second bite at the apple. Let's take it to our judge, Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, great to see you, first of all. And secondly, you, do you Trace. think Sotomayor is right? Is I, this I, the I, second I, bite of the proverbial apple? I do. I do agree with Justice Sotomayor, and I think the legal community is going to be upset about this, and most Americans should be upset. This case was caused by a clerical error in which an Arkansas state judge forgot to reduce to writing in the form of an order that the jury acquitted this guy of capital murder, meaning murder with the death penalty. And because the judge uh, made this mistake, the Supreme Court said there never was, as you said quite properly in your introduction, an official verdict, and therefore he, therefore he could be retried. Trace, the whole purpose of the prohibition on double trials was to prevent this very thing right. from happening. A mistake allows somebody to be exposed to execution execution for a second time after a jury has already found him not guilty. This has never happened before in American history. Let me give some context to see if I've got this right, Judge. If we're talking about the George Zimmerman trial, okay, so George Zimmerman's charge was second-degree murder. If they found that he was not guilty of second-degree murder, but they were hung on the manslaughter, they could go back again and retry him for second-degree murder is what you're saying. If the same set of circumstances occurred here, the jury tells the court, we have found him not guilty, in your hypothetical of second-degree murder, the court forgets to put that down in a piece of paper, in a writing, mm. and the Supreme Court interprets that forgetting as it was never an official verdict. Was he tried for murder? Yes. Did the jury unanimously find him not guilty? Yes. Therefore, he can't be tried over again except that today's case says he can. It's a radical change of 230 years of jurisprudence in this country. I'm disappointed and, and surprised by it. Going forward, Judge, could this result in retrying cases that have already been settled? No. I don't think okay. that, this could, that this would affect cases that have already been closed, but it could affect mistakes like this in the future. And are you saying that in cases like this, Judge, that it's simply, it's simply a clerical error, so you've got to dot the, dot the I's and cross the T's and we're all fine. If you don't, then you've got a defendant that's in trouble. Those of us who, who have done this for a living know that the moment the jury for a person says not guilty, the defendant is acquitted. The reduction of it to writing is just form, it's not substance. But the Supreme Court has now said that's the linchpin to a double wow. jeopardy. If the judge doesn't write it down, you can be tried over again. That's wrong. Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, great to see you. Thank you, Happy sir. Happy Memorial Day to you, Trace. You too, Judge. Thank you.